I'm Christine from Fly by Night Press. We're here in the beautiful city of Maastricht. Maastricht is a beautiful old city located at the southern tip of the Netherlands and nestled between the Belgian and German borders. Brussels, Amsterdam, and Frankfurt aren't more than a couple of hours away. Though not large, Maastricht is the provincial capital of Limburg, the southernmost of the Dutch provinces. And this city truly has it all. Visitors come for the beautiful river views and historic architecture, the excellent shopping, cobblestone streets, top restaurants, fine churches, Roman ruins, and stunning surrounding countryside. But Maastricht is also quite modern in its outlook. Its modern building projects and efficient infrastructure, its top quality commercial centers and business venues, and its world-renowned research university make it a place that draws the attention of the world. Maastricht is one of the oldest Dutch cities and has made its mark on history. It is the fabled location where the fourth musketeer was killed and where Napoleon's army was blockaded. In 1992, it hosted the signing of the Maastricht Treaty, which created the euro currency now used throughout Europe. First settled in about 50 BC by the Romans, Maastricht began as a bridge crossing the Maas River. Its original name was Trajectum ad Mosum, meaning Moss Bridge. This settlement rose out of a Roman fort and outpost for trade. Eventually it became an official city and the first of three walls was built to surround it. As the city grew in size and its population exceeded the wall's capacity, a second and a, later a third wall were built to contain it. Remnants of these original walls are visible in different parts of the city. You can visit the Hellport Museum, where history and artifacts about the medieval town can be viewed. Maastricht is a spectacular location for shopping. It offers everything from artisan bakeries and open produce markets to international brands and haute couture. The produce markets sell fresh produce, flowers and bulbs, nuts, cheeses, fish, cloth and clothing, and a host of other specialties. Catch the Friday market for the biggest conglomeration of vendors as well as an international clientele of shoppers. And on Saturdays, the market square is set up with antique vendors. Also in Maastricht, you will find many shops and commercial centers like the Moza Forum that are fun to peruse in a historic and yet wonderfully up-to-date city center. Shops offer the latest trends as well as uniquely crafted goods. One of our favorite shops to visit is the Biskopsmola, an old bakery attached to a water mill. Here, locally grown grain is milled by use of the millstone powered by the flow of the Jaeger River. It is then baked into bread, pastries, and flies, the Dutch pies for which this region is famous. Part of what makes Maastricht so interesting are her constant events, from the regular produce and antique markets to the lively music, art, shopping, and culinary festivals, there is something happening for everyone. In Maastricht, you will find no shortage of opportunities to experience sights, sounds, and tastes that will dazzle you. People come to Maastricht from all over in February to experience the lively carnival parades with elaborate costumes, live performances, and late parties. Later in the spring, the grandeur of the European Fine Arts Fair, or TEFAF, one of the world's top art fairs, takes precedence. Art lovers and collectors from around the world come here to view and buy world-class art from top galleries. If you're a collector on a smaller budget, you might like to peruse the aisles of antiques and other curios at the annual King's Day Market in the Stadspark of Maastricht. In the summer, Maastricht hosts the Trek Festival of Food Trucks, the Beer and Wine Festivals, and the Proven Mint Festival of Gourmets. At the end of the year, the city's central square, the Freithof, is transformed into a winter wonderland called Magisch Maastricht. Here you can enjoy a full-sized Ferris wheel, ice skating, an alpine slide that descends from the cathedral tower, and holiday gifts and treats such as hot waffles, glühwein, 
and chocolate crepes. Over 20 historic churches exist in Maastricht, but only a handful are still in use. Some have even been repurposed, such as the Dominikanen bookstore near the Freithof Square. It has been called the most beautiful bookstore in Europe. Much of Maastricht's history is linked to the church. During the 4th century AD, it was in Maastricht that the first Christians in the Netherlands lived. They formed the first Christian congregation. As the centuries passed, newer and grander churches were built, and the bishops of Maastricht reigned over the devout here between the 5th and 8th centuries. Of the few Maastricht churches that can still be visited, try St. Jan's Kerk or St. Servatius Kerk, both on the Freitag, which is Maastricht's main square. The church Onzelieve Frau is another old and prominent church just a few blocks away. St. Jan's Kerk is the church on the Freitag with the Red Tower. The Gothic-style cathedral was first built around 1200. The Red Tower was painted with an oxblood powder made from iron-rich stone in marl mines nearby. It's still possible to climb the giant tower via a spiral staircase to view one of the most beautiful views of Maastricht. The church right next to St. Jan's is the basilica dedicated to St. Servatius the patron saint of Maastricht, who died in Maastricht in 384. The Onzelieve Frau Kerk, or the Church of Our Dear Lady, is also open to worshippers and visitors alike. It's believed to have first been built in the 5th century with later additions. During the military campaigns of Napoleon in the late 18th century, Maastricht was taken by the French through the years of power struggle, the church stood firm, and in the 1930s, it was given the honorable title of Basilica by the Pope. In 1943, the bells from this and other churches in Maastricht began to be removed by the Nazis to be melted down for military vehicles and arms. Inscriptions of protest began to appear on the city walls that said, Those who shoot with these bells will not win the war. Several years ago, during a renovation, some archaeological finds were made under the Hotel d'Erlon, which flanks the Church of Our Dear Lady. The remains of an old Roman temple, a Jupiter column, a water well, and parts of a road and town square were found, together with accompanying objects. The find dates from the 2nd and 3rd centuries AD. It was decided to keep the find visible to the public, and it can be viewed free of charge in the cellar of the Derlon Hotel. On the west side of the city lies the Fort St. Peter, a military fortification built in the 1700s to help the people of Maastricht defend their city from the French. The fort sits above a tunnel system of marl caves used as a quarry and also frequently as hiding places through the ages for residents or military forces. You can take a tour of the caves or enjoy the beautiful view of Maastricht from the fort above. Maastricht has a vibrant nightlife with many opportunities for dining, culture, and sports. Dining experiences range from cafes and bars to bistros, family dining, and the most refined of gourmets. Maastricht is often seen as the culinary capital of the Netherlands. It offers many world cuisines with a special emphasis on Dutch, French, and Belgian foods. Cultural offerings such as concerts and plays are also plentiful. The theater on the Freidhof is Maastricht's main stage for classical concerts, ballets, and theater productions. A few other smaller stages also hold performances from international performers. Shopping is also possible at night during the weekly Kopafund. In December, the city invites the public for shopping evening every night, surrounded by lights, musicians, and ornaments. Eve is an especially popular time to be in the city for the fireworks show that is displayed over the river. 
Those with interest in sporting events can also find matches to enjoy for an evening in Maastricht. Maastricht's football club, M. Feifei, plays other city clubs throughout the season on their home field at De Gusselt in Maastricht. Though an international and well-connected city, Maastricht also has a rural side. The city's Stads Park is a favorite place for residents to relax. Surrounding the city are the hills and plateaus of the beautiful Moss area, dotted with castles, villages, and wheat fields. It's possible to take an afternoon river cruise up and down the Moss, crossing the border with Belgium. You can tour another system of moral caves at the Belgian stop on the tour. World War II, these fields and villages were the setting of various battles and skirmishes between the occupying Germans and Allied forces. This area was fully liberated from the Germans in 1944. The inhabitants of this area commemorate their liberation annually with memorial ceremonies and photo exhibitions. The American Memorial Cemetery in Margraten, just outside of Maastricht, hosts a moving memorial ceremony every year on Memorial Day weekend to remember the sacrifices of the 8,000 American soldiers buried here. If you really want to enjoy the nature of this area, take a long hike through the hills or relax for a sunny afternoon on the banks of the moss. Drink in the beauty and history of this place, a city that has it all.